Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. My name is Bobby. Antonio. And today we got a couple of tools we're going to show you guys. Uh, over here I got a couple of hex wrenches, pinion gear puller, and a universal reamer. On my side what I got is a couple car stands here, uh, turnbuckle wrenches, uh, ball ink, uh, reamer as well, and a heat temp gun right here. Cool. Um, uh, why don't you start off with the temp gun? Perfect. Uh, head, uh, temp gun, as we all know, is pretty much used uh, to take temperature of your motor, uh, your ESC, how everything's running. Uh, they're very useful when you're out at either at the track or if you're a helicopter or plane guy uh, when you're out the field. Uh, this temp gun I got here uh, measures in both centigrade and Fahrenheit. And all that, as soon as you remove this little cap right here that holds the battery in there, you'll see a little switch uh, to switch it to Celsius or Fahrenheit. It has anywhere from 32 degrees Celsius all the way up to 375 degrees Celsius. Uh, for you guys that aren't familiar with Celsius, I'll break that down to Fahrenheit. Uh, it does ne negative 25.6 degrees Fahrenheit uh, to 707 degrees Fahrenheit. And also, when you do switch that open, you guys will see um, a little uh, switch to also turn on the laser. And all that would pretty much do, let's say you're standing from about, let's say, two, three feet away, and you don't really, you know, you can't get that close to it, the laser will help you um, get the temperature of whatever you're trying to get. So that's, like I said, very useful for everybody, car, helicopter, even boat guys, it's a great tool. And also you guys, you guys look here, I got some car stands. Um, they're offered in various uh, different colors. Uh, if, you, if you guys like them, be sure to check them out. And uh, what I got here, I got this one uh, displayed here. You guys can see, great for your shocks when you're rebuilding shocks. I don't have to worry about anything falling off. You know, I've had that happen when I'm rebuilding a, a shock. I set my rebound and all that. I'm ready to cap it, and the thing just falls over. And it's very frustrating, and so it's very nice tool to use. And this one I got turned around the opposite way. And you guys can see here, this is magnetized. Um, when you're taking off your screws, set them there, and hopefully they'll be there uh, when you're ready to put them back. Um, I've worked uh, with this stand myself, and it's very useful. Also, what I got here, uh, I got two turnbuckle wrenches right here. Uh, they're offered in various uh, different sizes. And uh, let me show you guys, for you guys that don't know uh, what a turnbuckle is. Turnbuckle, we got right there. And so what you would do, uh, obviously this isn't the right size, but if I had the right size one, uh, you can make adjustments to your camber, your toe-in. They're just very useful uh, for you car guys. And uh, what I got here, this little tool, it's a ball ink reamer. It can be used for helicopters as well. You guys can see here, uh, any of the cyclics, wherever there's a ball ink, uh, same applies to the cars for your balling sand. Pretty much what that does, uh, you could really get, because um, you guys might notice when, you're, when you first build it, uh, the plastic might be very fitted. Uh, you don't get that free of a movement as you would like. Uh, so using this ball ink reamer, you'll get a lot uh, free action, no binding, especially in cars. Uh, your suspension is gonna be very consistent throughout the run. Uh, you don't have to worry about breaking in the ball links and none of that. So uh, that's pretty much my side, uh, Bobby. I think I bored everybody with my side already. Let's move on to your side. Uh, what do you got here? Uh, I got some uh, hex wrenches. I have them in 17 millimeter and 23, 23 millimeter. They're good for eight scale or fifth scale cars and trucks. So you can see here I have an eight scale buggy. Fits right on there. You got a lot of surface area right here so you can get the leverage to get the wheels off because uh, you do want them tight so your wheels don't fly off. Uh, so those are pretty cool. Um, I also have a pinion gear pulley here. This is really useful for the motors that have pressed on pinion gears. Or if you strip out your grub screw that and sucks. your pinion gear is stuck on there, yeah, that always uh, sucks. can't get it off. So what you do here is get this pinion gear puller, slide it on there, and it's kind of like a, like a clamp. It screws down, shaft goes in, and when it's going down, it's actually pulling the pinion gear off. Uh, kind of like a bearing puller for cars. Um, so that's a really cool feature, or cool tool. I also got a hole reamer here, universal hole reamer. Um, we have it in 4 millimeter and different other sizes. What, what this does is it takes out burrs or any uh, inconsistencies in, your, in the hole. Uh, I have an uh, upper and lower arm from an 8 scale buggy here. And basically what you do is uh, basically stick it through and smoothen it out. Take out any burrs, any inconsistencies and make it really smooth. That way your hinge pin, when it sits in there, 
it's, it gets more free movement. It's not binding when your arms are going through suspension travel. And you get more consistent performance out of your suspension. I'm sure the racers are going to love that, man. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. After a couple runs, it's probably all bent up. Oh, yeah. Ream it through, smooth it out, and exactly. uh, it'll be good to go. Like you said, consistent is what matters, especially when you're racing. Um, so, uh, there you guys go on those tools. If you guys care to check any of these tools out, be sure to head over to our website, hobbyparts.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.